Hey plant buds, welcome back to my channel where we talk about plants. In style of ASMR. So today I have a little bit of a plant haul for you. Um, I have five plants. Five plants that I got from Terry Popish on Facebook. Her last name might be pronounced Popish, I'm not sure. Um, but she's one of my very favorite Facebook sellers. She always sends really beautiful, um, healthy, well-packaged plants. So I was really excited to do an unboxing. But when I received the box, it was actually late in the evening and I didn't feel up to filming a video at the time. So I just unboxed the plants. I potted them up into nice uh, containers and I can't wait to show you. So the first plant I got is this autograph tree. I'll put the Latin names for all of these down below in the description, but um, I'll only share the common names with you today, just for sake of ease. This is the plant that um, started my purchase. I, I saw that she had this one listed and then I, I asked I asked her if she had a few others that I was looking for and she had a handful of them so um, this this plant spurred the decision to buy and then it just snowballed from there uh, but this autograph tree has very thick waxy leaves why it's called an autograph tree is because you can actually etch um, letters, numbers, figures onto these leaves, um, like scratch it with your fingernail or use a um, pointed object to uh, write or draw on the leaves and as the leaves mature and age they will keep the etching and it will um, it'll appear to be like carved into the leaf and it doesn't, um, doesn't hinder the growth of the plant at all to do that. So, I've always kind of wanted one of these, just for the novelty of it. I don't know if I'll actually um, mar the leaves that way. I don't know if I could bring myself to do that. But I conceptually like the idea of it, and um, it is a tree, so it grows. You know, it could eventually be a few feet tall. I don't, I don't know if it would reach quite that um, level of growth indoors. But if I put it outdoors for the summer and take good care of it indoors and give it a lot of light in the winter, it could very well um, grow pretty quickly into a small tree. So I, I love plants that grow very large. I, I love watching them as they, as they mature. So this is my autograph tree. One thing I really appreciate about Terry is that she sends her plants, this is unsponsored by <laughs> but she um, sends her plants um, potted in, in plastic containers, um, which usually it, it's, it's often better for the plant because the roots don't get as disturbed. The reason I appreciate that she sends the pots is uh, because I was out of soil when I received these. I had some on order because um, I'm, not, I'm not leaving the house, so I'm, I'm ordering everything delivered, and um, soil was delayed so I, I had no soil so I was really really glad that she sent them um, with soil so that they didn't have to sit around um, a couple days waiting to be potted up so um, actually I didn't disturb the roots on this at all I just potted it <laughs> I just placed it in this cash bow here and I think it looks really nice For a while and I had one of these when I first started keeping plants and I, I didn't quite know what I was doing um, and I, I killed it. I 
first left it outside um, in slightly too strong, um, too strong sun. Um, so it got a little bit burnt and lost some leaves, so then I clipped it up to try to propagate it, and I didn't really know what I was doing with propagation back then, so it ended up, I, I lost all of it. Uh, so I'm excited to have it again. This is a goldfish plant. I don't know if you can see, it's got some, some nice purple coloration there on the back sides of the leaves. And when it buds and flowers, the flowers are orange and like bright orange, goldfish orange, and shaped like little goldfish. They have like a big rounded belly. I have a thing for orange plants, plants with um, orange, orange leaves, orange buds, orange, orange flowers, orange petioles. Um, I would love to have my living room covered in um, plants with orange accents. You'll see that's actually a theme in this video. So. Here's my goldfish plant. I love how deep, dark green the leaves are. They're also very um, sturdy, thick, waxy. And I also have this one still in the I lost a leaf <laughs> in the cash pot that Terry or in the pot that Terry sent, and I just put it back here in the cash pot. So cascade as the um, as the stems grow, they you know eventually they'll grow up and up and up and then just um, reach a point where the weight is too much and they'll flop over and create this like beautiful cascading effect. This is a plant I had actually never heard of. Um, I on the list I gave Terry of plants I was looking for. I um, I just mentioned any cool or unusual philodendron, and this was one that she happened to just um, get in stock. It's a philodendron atom, or I've seen it um, listed online as a super atom, uh, as an A T O M, not A D A M. Um, this is the plant. There is obviously moose. I got in. I actually can't remember where I got it. With my husband, we were at a little craft fair during during a vacation. I think we were either in Alaska or Europe, and I don't remember. I don't remember where we got this. I want to say Alaska, but I don't remember. We go into a little little fair in Alaska. I don't know. Yeah, it had to have been Alaska. I think. Anyway. So this is um, kind of a dwarf philodendron that uh, stays, it stays pretty small like this. It does um, vine and grow up and out a little bit, but the leaves stay uh, relatively small and it grows um, compact. So it's um, a little bit more bushy in appearance than a lot of aeroids, which I, I really like. I kind of just took a chance on this one when I heard she had them. I was like, ah, sure, go ahead and send one. I've never heard of it before. Um, obviously, I researched it and looked, looked at the pictures, but um, uh, her prices are fantastic. Like all but one of these plants uh, were under ten dollars. So um, I decided I could I could try something new for that price. Yeah, this one didn't didn't take to shipping as well as the others, which isn't saying much because they all looked fantastic upon arrival and still do, except for um, this one, which has a little bit of yellowing on this leaf, if you can see, and I think there's, yeah, there's um, kind of like some, some kind of burn or browning there um, that gave, gave a hole in this one. But, um, I don't know if you can see this. Do you see all this new growth around the base here? Tiny little leaves in the dirt, soil. Yeah, I'm sure this will be just fine. Excited to watch 
should grow and get bigger and bushy. So back on the orange theme is this orange spring cactus. You may have heard these referred to as um, Christmas cactuses, Christmas cacti, um, but they are not all Christmas cacti. It has to do with the leaf shape. So um, if the if the sides of the leaves here are very very jagged and pointy, that's a Thanksgiving cactus. If they're smooth like this one and, and don't have as many jagged points. Easter cactus, and if it's kind of in between with um, like bumpy ridges, that's a Christmas cactus. Um, and I, I have a Thanksgiving cactus, and no Christmas cactus. I have a Thanksgiving cactus and this Easter cactus, and um, sometime I'll get a Christmas cactus too to round out the collection. But um, obviously, I think you can tell why I wanted this plant. It looks so cute, um, and it's about to bloom. These are these are the little. The little orange buds starting. Give you a little close up there. They'll open up and flower, and they have kind of like a long, um, thready look to them. The flowers do. So I'll, I'll post pictures when it starts to open up. But I just love the pop of color. I love it. I want this all around my house. This little pop of orange. really hard to predict when a good time to film will be. So. Sorry, I can't do anything about this. Okay. Easter cactus. And last but not least is a plant that's relatively common but I actually haven't been able to find locally. Um, I've wanted it for a long time. It's this lemon lime morale. also called a prayer plant because at night or when there's um, no sun or when it's dark it um, folds up its leaves and then people say it looks like it's praying um, and then during the day or when there's sun um, it, it folds out like this like you can see it's it's kind of like folded down and showing its leaves. There are some minor imperfections on, on a lot of the leaves, the tips. Um, I assume it's from shipping. I, Prayer plants don't love to be shipped, but it's going to be fine. These things grow so fast for me. I have um, other varieties, not the lemon lime. People either find these so easy or so hard, and I think it has more to do with the conditions of your home than how you care for it because um, it just really, really likes um, diffuse light and lots and lots of humidity. So. Um, my, my place is fairly humid. We don't intentionally keep it that way, but it, um, it just, our, something about our, our home retains humidity, so um, it's always relatively humid in here, and my prayer plants just seem to love it. So I'm really excited to add this one to my collection. Let's see if I can give you a close-up of one of the most perfect leaves. Let me find my favorite. <laughs> color on that, the lime green. I just love it. And here's a new leaf that has started to unfurl just since I popped it out of the mail. Don't want to touch it too much and damage it as it's unfurling, but it's just beautiful. That's a really nice plastic bird.
So those are the five plants I got from Terry. I'm sorry I couldn't show them to you in an unboxing video, but um, they're just as enjoyable to look at once they're all potted up and adjusted um, after their journey. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video.